All right, in this video, I'd like to talk about what's known as dynamics processing, which really has to do with setting a value for the loudest and the softest parts of the track itself. Now, there are a number of ways to do this, but if you can imagine, for example, a singer recording a take, and in their take, they have a very soft part, and then they have a really loud part where the song opens up and gets exciting, when it comes time to mix that down and you have other instruments and you've got beats and background vocals, you have to try and control the overall dynamic level of the track itself. You might need to make the overall volume level without sacrificing some of those uh, rich dynamics, which makes for a great performance. And we can do that a number of ways. One thing that I want to bring to your attention is over here in the left side of the track itself. We can use this gain knob to turn up or turn down the volume, but that doesn't actually change the properties of the track itself. That will simply adjust the playback volume. Nothing wrong with that. It works great. And if you have a really simple setup, that can work well. Um, it's the same with the panning knob. This is like a left and a right speaker where you can adjust the positioning of the track within the stereo image. So you can do that, but they won't actually change the properties of the waveform itself. If we want to do that, there are a number of effects that you can use. One that I like to use is called the leveler. And while the leveler doesn't look like a really complex plugin or effect, it actually is, is pretty sophisticated. It's a combination of compression and limiting, which in really simple terms is a plugin that will analyze this waveform. It will look for the loudest and the softest parts of the waveform itself, and it will set a range based on what we call the threshold, which is kind of like the cutoff point. So anything above it or below it will change. And by setting that threshold, it will adjust the transients in the ways that we want it to. And what we can do is essentially, when we apply this, we can make the louder parts a little softer and the softer parts a little louder, and then bring up the overall final volume of this track just a bit so that it sits well within uh, the context of the other tracks in the song. Now we have just one track, so this will be a very simple definition. What I've done here is I've chosen light as the parameter that I want to use. If I hit OK, you'll notice that the track is just a bit louder. It's a little punchier, and rather than louder and softer and louder and softer, the overall range is set within a pretty comfortable limit here. So if you listen to it, I'm going to undo it. Here's the track by itself. Now if I apply the leveler, it makes it a little punchier, a little louder. And if I was to do that again, and I'm, I'm only going to do this for demonstration purposes, if I was to make this heaviest, you would see essentially what looks like a brick wall. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. If you can imagine a brick, a track with virtually no dynamics processing in it, uh, that's what this will sound like. I'll play it. Now, that didn't sound very good. Uh, it actually made the whole track pretty distorted. But you get the idea. So this is one of those things that you're going to want to use carefully. But depending on the track that you have, you might want to add some leveling to it just to, to set a nice comfortable range and put everything within the, a good context for the overall song that you're working on. Particularly if you're using found instruments that are you know, really distinct in their timbre, you'll want to uh, to keep this as an option for your mixing. So just to keep that in mind, there are a number of ways you can do this. Some people will use what's called normalizing, which 
accomplishes a pretty sim similar process. Uh, in another video, we're going to talk a little bit about um, some of the other effects that you can use. And I also hope you find this useful.